Let me show you this really quick and easy matte smoky eye. You can do this with whatever you've already got at home. I'm going to use some high street things today. This Milani palette and then a L'Oreal Paris mascara. To begin, I'm going to start with a soft brown and take this just kind of all over the lid really in a wash of colour. The nice thing about this makeup is that nothing has to be particularly even. A couple of months ago, I went to this L'Oreal Paris masterclass with Mary Phillips and they have just announced Kendall Jenner as a favourite and she did Kendall's makeup and so people were asking what do you use on her and what's her style and that kind of thing and she said something that I thought was really interesting she said it's very rare that she uses any shimmers on Kendall Kendall really likes matte colors and matte smokies now for me it's very rare that I wouldn't have a shimmer or a glitter on I just love using anything that catches the light on my eyes and I thought it was so out of my comfort zone that I've kind of been giving it a go. So as you can see there are no kind of harsh lines and I'm not even taking loads of time or anything. I've been on the train a lot recently and this gets thrown on like a hundred miles an hour in two minutes. Now I am just going to run that brush all over the lid itself and even this on its own to be fair is really pretty. If you were in a rush it just pulls your whole makeup together. If you didn't have an eyeshadow palette you could replicate this just with your bronzer I do that a lot too and don't be afraid to go right up here into these inner corners and almost buff it like up into the eyebrow slightly different brush and a lighter color I'm tilting my head back so that I don't um so that I've got a bit more stretch to get this all over the lid and I'm just going to take this up to the natural crease of the eye again no real harsh lines and now I'm going to take a softer brush and go for something slightly deeper and just really gently trace the outer corners of the eyes. Now the whole beauty of this look is that there are no harsh lines so I don't want anything too shaped. I have to kind of like if I put the mirror here it'll focus on that. Now the whole point of this is that we don't want any harsh lines so I don't want to go too mad. But at the same time, when I look down, I want you to be able to see a differentiation between this outer corner colour and the colour that is through the socket. And I'm using a fluffy brush and taking each sweep one by one. And where there's a natural crease in my lid there, I might have to like tilt back to smooth it over that crease if that makes sense. See how I've left a little tide mark? Now I'm gonna go back in with the original brush with the softer brown, soften all of this out so that you have the illusion of this deeper outer corner with no harsh lines and that the edges of each colour blend into each other. If I'm really honest, I feel like this is a bit messy, but the reality is I'm going out this afternoon. This is exactly what I do on the train. And the beauty of this look is if it is a bit grungy and messy, it still looks fine. So I'm not gonna beat myself up over something being absolutely perfect. Because do you know another thing, and while I tell you this, I'm gonna take a smaller brush to take some soft brown under here. For the last few months when I haven't been filming as much and I've just been like doing my makeup on the go, it's made me realise that I do my makeup so much more precisely in videos than I would do if I was just going out for the day. So why am I preaching to you about doing all these perfect steps when I'm not doing them? So actually, I feel like moving forward being in a little bit of a rush and showing you what I would actually do will probably give you like a much more realistic look at what will take 10 minutes and still look nice rather than me showing you some sculpted thing that I'm not actually wearing. And it's only because I'm like trying to show you the courtesy and respect to take my time. However, it might be more like genuine to just show you how I'm actually getting ready and maybe you'd rather see that. I don't know, but we'll give all of this a try and you can let me know which one feels the best for you. So that there is really, you know, that's everything I would actually want to be honest. But just to finish it off, I'm gonna take the same brush. Now, if you can't be bothered with liner or anything like that, this does make a little bit of difference. I'm literally just gonna kind of pull that darker shade into the lash line, the tiniest bit. Again, I'm tilting my um, head right back 
because otherwise the way like my face naturally rests this would sit in little fine lines but actually if you tilt your head back it just stretches the shape of the eye and you get a much smoother finish i'm not putting any eyeliner on but having that little bit of deeper pigment towards the lashes gives the illusion of fuller lashes, gives the illusion that you've got your liner on. And in my case, having blue eyes, having those warm tones next to the blue just makes them look a little bit brighter. I'm gonna finish this with some mascara. This is one of my favorites from L'Oreal. It's the Pro XXL Lift. I feel like I actually bought this one in. We always see so much about the telescopic lift. That's obviously one that was really popular and very viral. I don't see as much about this one, but of the L'Oreal mascaras that I've tried, this is my favourite one. There's two brushes. Um, if you've got the time and patience, absolutely. I, today, I'm just going to use one end and get these lashes feeling really... Um, just polished really and full. I did curl them before I did the makeup, which actually I never used to be bothered to do, but it makes such a difference in particular for me because my lashes tend to poke forward. And then the nice thing about having mascara on is even when things aren't 100% symmetrical, by the time your mascara is there, it kind of disguises that and you can't notice any difference anyway. So in words I never thought I would say, there is my completely matte, no shimmer, no glitter, smoky eye.